Despite what your mother might have told you, streaking, it's a good thing. Let's have a look at streaking brushes. Hello, welcome to Model Kit Stuff and today we have a product review, this little product here. This is the Streaking Brusher. Um, I have the full current full range at the time of recording. It is um, October 2022 as I record this and we've got what, two, four, six, eight, ten. Actually, there's a sort of sneaky eleventh but we're going to talk about that in a minute. Right, so uh, streaking brushes, what are they, uh, why would you possibly buy one, and what, how do you use them? Well, we're going to cover all of that in this video, so let's get started, shall we? So, streaking brushes are a, a recent uh, release from uh, the MIG uh, Ammo Company, um, an addition to their range, which really is an extension of their um, fairly successful oil brusher range. Now, I have to say that these are the only three oil brushes that I have ever bought into, and I've bought, bought these for a very specific project. These are greens, and I'm going to use them um, for some foliage in a diorama that I have planned. Um, uh, but ordinarily, I have not bothered buying into the uh, oil brusher because the way I see it is oil brusher is um, a more expensive way of buying oil paint and a paintbrush. But the reality is that this is more convenient, it's easier to use. It's certainly cleaner, um, and it, it, it just makes the whole thing a lot easier. So what you get is um, a brush in a bottle, and it's ready to go. All you've got to do is apply it to model, whereas the more traditional way of doing weathering effects with oils is to get your oil paint out, put it on a bit of... Um, card or tissue paper so the oil seeks out then maybe you might want to mix it to get the colour you want and then you're going to thin it to get the consistency you want and then you can start applying it to your model. Um, so <laughs> there's a little bit of messing around to get where you want to be but there's a huge range of artist oil colour paints um, and they can be applied to your model in the same way as an oil brusher can. Now the streaking brusher is a build on that concept. So it's the same basic idea, it's the same size pot, um, you're getting 10 millilitres of paint um, and you're getting an applicator brush. The difference is the brush is a lot thinner and almost hard it's almost like a needle it's not at all like the soft brush that you get in the oil brusher um, and the idea is that you can use that for putting tiny tiny amounts on spots or um, lines we'll show you in a minute to allow you to create streaking effects so uh, for those of you that might not be aware what a streaking effect is a streaking effect is basically a paint effect where you're showing um, grime, dirt, dust, rust that has run down in the direction of um, rain and uh, weather effect on whatever it is. So um, there's lots and lots of uses for uh, the streaking paint effect and it's quite often one of the last effects that you've put on after you've done other weathering effects. So, um, what do you get in the range? Well, let's go through them. There's Starship Grime. There's Rust. There's 
red brown, there's cold dirty grey, winter grime, green grey grime, medium brown, uh, streaking dust, warm dirty grey and grime. Now slightly different but also in the streaking uh, brush um, range is this one which is called wet effects. Now this is effectively exactly the same thing it's a 10 mil bottle with a brush applicator and the brush is the same as the rest of the streaking brushes so you can see what sort of brush you're getting and it is fairly hard so it's got a bit of give in it but effectively it's a hard brush and the wet effects the idea of this is to make it look like um, you maybe got drizzle or something like that and you've got small trickles or damp patches that have streaked down the side of a vehicle. So effectively, this is probably a gloss varnish, I, I would think. Um, but yeah, that's the, that's the idea of wet effects, and I'm going to be using this, trying this out on my Tiger Diorama. So look out for that in the uh, Ryefield Tiger build. Um, so that's the idea of that. So how do they work? Well, let's have a play. So the basic idea is that you get, let's get a dark one so you can see it. You give them a good shake up. You take your brush out and then you either dot or streak the oil paint. Now it's fairly slow drying so don't worry about the time you've got to then sort it out. You want to give it a little bit of time actually to dry a little bit and we can already see some of these are starting to dry where we put a small amount of paint on where we put a couple of big dollops on at the start um, that they're, they're still wet we can see they're still glossy. Once they look a little bit more matte you know that they've dried off and then you're going to go in with um, a brush dipped in a little bit of thinner now you could use uh, mig production thinners which is a, a, a soft less aggressive thinner than many thinners but you could also use white spirit in this instance i'm simply because i've not set myself up properly gonna dip my brush in the MIG thinners um, and then take most of it off so we want our brush to be damp and then what you're going to do is draw down in one direction only and then that gives you our streaking effect It's as simple as that and if you've overdone it or you don't like it you can apply thinners until you've got rid of it so you can make it as subtle or as in your face as you like so what would have um, streak effects pretty much anything that's outside anything even a building um, has streaky grime on it from uh, rain from the the dirt that's in the atmosphere and then the rain uh, washing it down. So anything could have um, a grimy effect. Let's try another one, uh, see if we can show you. Now I have a build coming along soon where you will be able to see some of these being used in, in action um, and I'm certainly going to be using some of these on my Tiger Diorama so look out for more installments of that build. There we go, so we put a little bit on there. This is the, um, I think this is the rust, is it? Yeah, rust. Same brush, just damp. It 
it's really handy for doing that. Now, we have to be honest. Um, I've paid for these, so I'm going to give you my honest view of them. I'm not going to, uh, I'm not promoting these in any way. This, using this, or using an enamel paint, will give you exactly the same effect. You do it in exactly the same way. You dot your oil on with a small brush, and then you take it off with some thinners and uh, a flat brush, and that will give you a streaking effect. And you may well have enamel paints in your uh, in your stash of paints, your inventory of paints, which you can use for that job. And you may well have some regularly used um, oil paints that you can use for that job. And these, both of these, are massively, massively more cost effective than this solution. What this solution does, however, is it gives you a product that's ready to go, um, that's clean, that's convenient, that's to hand, and uh, reduces the amount of time you're having to uh, use to get where you need to be. So you can simply pick up the bottle, apply it, and as you can see, clean it pretty much straight away, and the job's done. So it's massive time saving, and it's saving you um, the convenience of cleaning stuff up after and setting stuff up before. The downside is the cost. In the UK, one of these is going to be about three times the price of a small tube of oil paint. So that small tube of oil paint will last you probably a lot longer and cost you a lot less. So it's a costly solution, but it's a convenient one. And that's my take on it. Okay, look out for these being used in builds coming to this channel soon. Thanks for looking in. Take care, everyone. Enjoy your modelling, and I will see you very soon.